Hello everybody and thank you very much for joining me for another Alfred Hitchcock Presents Review. Today I will be talking about Season 2, Episode 12, The Rose Garden, starring John Williams as Mr. Vinton, Patricia Collins as Julia, and Evelyn Varden as Cordelia. And this is just an average episode in my opinion. What's kind of strange about it is it sets up a decent premise, but there's no real twist to the episode in my opinion. This episode's just kind of there, but it's a watchable episode, uh, that's enjoyable enough, I suppose. So we start with a man, and he's going to visit two sisters. He's a publisher, and one of the sisters named Julia has written a book. It's a murder mystery, and his company's interested in publishing it. She also has a sister named Cordelia, who we find out is the more dominant sister. And it also turns out that Cordelia was married at one time, but the husband left uh, kind of under unknown circumstances, and that there was also a love triangle, as Julia also cared about this man. So a decent enough setup for our episode. So Mr. Vinton goes to meet these two sisters, and they chat about the book a little bit. And when Mr. Vinton goes upstairs, he realizes that the room he has been given to stay in is exactly like one of the rooms in the book. So he starts to suspect that maybe some of the, th the events that happen in this book parallel things that really have happened in the sisters' lives, including the murder of the uh, disappeared husband. So at this point, Mr. Vincent continues to explore the house, and he catches Cordelia reading parts of the manuscript. Uh, she said she wanted to read it, and the episode does do a pretty good job of keep, keeping us in suspense about Cordelia. We're not sure what her true motives are right now. So Mr. Vincent continues to read and gets more and more suspicious. So he decides to have a one-on-one -on -one chat with Julia, and they bring up a few specific scenes in the book. And uh, at this point, Vincent also brings up, you know, why were the police never called? And Julia gives a speech about how, you know, maybe the woman in the novel is in fear of her sister. And at this point, we can definitely tell that this parallels Julia's real life. So the sisters leave at this point, go to some kind of uh, practice of some kind. They leave Mr. Vinton alone in the house. Maybe not the smartest thing to do, but uh, it's necessary for the episode to continue. So, of course, Vinton decides to go out and dig up the garden where he thinks he'll find the body, you know, of the disappeared husband. But Cordelia catches him in the act, of course. She was probably suspicious of him the whole time. She says she left her, uh, her practice or whatever it was early. And uh, he hadn't found anything at this point. So Cordelia explains that her sister wrote this book believing that Cordelia really killed the man because Julia couldn't accept that he left because Julia had a thing for him as well. So at this point, she was basically turned into the villain. So uh, Mr. Vinton seems to uh, accept this, at least so we think at this point. So Vinton decides he's going to leave. And when he leaves, Julia all of a sudden has this revelation. She tells, she tells Cordelia, I know you did do the killing. It turns out the body was in a different part of the garden. I thought this part was a little bit strange, but whatever, you just got to go with it. So at this point, Cordelia pulls out a gun and says she'll eliminate Julia too. So she finds out she really was the killer. So uh, instead of having any kind of twist, it just turns out what was suspected the whole time was true, which I thought was kind of strange, but I guess it's a change of pace, if nothing else. But of course, Mr. Vinton didn't leave, so I'm not sure if he just had a change of heart or if this was kind of a setup the whole time. It wasn't really too clear, but it works out fine. So it looks like Cordelia is now in trouble for murder, and it looks like things turn out okay for uh, Mr. Vinton. And I guess Julia as well. So like I said, overall an episode that's just kind of there, it's fine, it's watchable. And I'm going to give The Rose Garden a 2.5 out of 5. An episode, if you're a fan of the show, you might enjoy uh, watching once. But it's not essential in my opinion. So 2.5 out of 5 for The Rose Garden. And as always, thank you very much for watching.